Whilst elsewhere, Grimly's scouts took the trouble to turn every stone in their search for Talia, and I mean that literally. She was marching towards the town of Steelsmith, the seat of the Dwarven King. However, after a not in the least bit subtle hint from the not at all tactful evil, she had taken a little detour through the Ash Spring Swamplands. Here, the ancient, cursed bones of long-forgotten soldiers lay uneasy in their graves, waiting only for the necessary nudge to finally rise and play the Talking Dead, or whatever it's called. Unfortunately, and of course, purely coincidentally, Grimly, the racist Dwarven King, was also currently in Ash Spring. I chop more wood. I don't have enough resources. I want to build a barracks to hire knights and foot soldiers. I also need some for these palisades. Which idiot is responsible for this, please? My right toe could build a better defense on its own. Now, fix it, and over there, we'll build a watchtower. Or two. Grimly is here. Excellent. <laughs> I'll beat every single God's damned prejudice out of that bearded, drunk's alcohol soaked carcass. And some of these undead wannabes lying around here in their graves are going to help me. Let's see how that drunken idiot likes facing a few brain hungry zombies. Ah, not that he needs to be afraid with that little bird brain of his. Tyre? Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? Undead? How low have we sunk? Ugh. Are you still there? I thought I'd finally seen the last of you in the previous mission. Anyway, shut up and let me work. I must raise the living dead. So in order to start the Night of the Living Dead, our protagonist, the currently eating a chicken leg evil's envoy, had to reach the region's larger cemeteries and recruit their undead. One of the Lucky Evil's little snots had discovered a hidden Arcanium. Here, demons could create valuable mana, which on the one hand, they themselves needed, while on the other, could also be used for powerful spells. And so it was that the first demon began to generate powerful mana in the Arcanium. Ah, delicious mana. I like to spread it on my Sunday morning croissant, as my wife passes me a cup of tea and massages my feet, as I open the newspaper to the obituaries. <laughs> but back to the subject. Mana was also important to the couldn't care less about Sunday morning croissant's evil, because on the one hand, his higher level demons loved the stuff, and on the other hand, it could be used to cast powerful spells. Of course, the excited evil couldn't wait to promptly try it out. Command me.
If you worked any slower, you'd be going backwards! Sneaking around here somewhere. Let's go, men. Double the watches and leave something for me. <laughs> ah, you have no chance against me and the ultimate evil. I can smell your beer breath all the way down into my dungeon, you drunken shrimp. Spread out and find her! The presence of the inconspicuous as a rainbow-colored dog evil's army was no longer a secret. In fact, it was amazing it had escaped the warriors of good for so long. Well, their leader was a dwarf and he had lots of beer, but I digress. Hopefully the dungeon's defenses are ready. There are enemies in your dungeon. Everything evil comes from above. Your little snots have uncovered a dragon's nest.
steel smith wasn't built in a day, but if you lame asses had been there, the entrance gate still wouldn't be finished! Day. There are enemies in your dungeon. Take me to the enemy. Ow! Dragons have nested in the underground. spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting. Thanos must...
steel smith wasn't built in a day, but if you lame asses had been there, the entrance gate still wouldn't be finished! There are enemies in your dungeon. Day. Population limit reached? Population limit reached? Ha! <laughs> well then, plenty to throw at the enemy!
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Command me! Payday! Everything good must die.
There are enemies in your dungeon. Defend the dungeon heart. Dungeon Heart is being attacked. What's up? Newborn babies and work faster and cry less than you lazy jobs. me and regain your honor. I am Isildur's heir. I mean, the deathly pale evil's messenger. Fight for me and I will consider your oath fulfilled. An oath that you never swore. Excuse me, I seem to have mixed a few things up. Um, splendid speech. Uh but good enough for the mindless hordes buried here who excitedly signaled their approval, even if it was with nothing more than a moaned brains. And so, the walking dead arose to serve the abominable evil. And of course, his eloquent envoy with the split personality. Hey, I can't hear you. I certainly hope so. I don't want to just waste my insults. <laughs> we'll talk later. Go, undead. Destroy the living! Ouch!
There are enemies in your dungeon. joined the monstrous evil and with a spirited if moaned brains staggered off towards the human defenders the glorious hey that's my text you don't even appear in this dialogue at all your problem for taking such a long siggy break i'll take over your job in the long run that's something we can both agree on are your two personalities conspiring against me huh. As a narrator, I am unsurpassed. If you heard the stories I tell in the bar on weekends, hmm, forget about that. Additional undead have been secured for the insidious evil. Payday, suddenly a few dissatisfied bears appeared directly in front of Talia. Exactly, bears, and they attacked. Hey! This had nothing to do with a certain narrator's injured pride, but made total sense within the framework of the story. The Walking Dead set out to destroy all living things. All good living things, of course. I am the evil.
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Dead? Move it, you slackers! We need more resources! Dead. Yes, 
walk my mindless hordes and destroy the living. Do you always have to be so evil? Ugh. Is that a trick question? Naturally! Who, if not me? An even more undead marched against the human defenses in the glamorous evil's name. They didn't stand a chance. But suddenly, and this had nothing to do with the protagonist's previous insults, evil bears once again appeared to attack Talia. Hey, it's all right, okay? You can keep your job. I'm sorry. Almost miraculously, a bolt of lightning hit the bears and killed them on the spot. Amazing! But of course, it all made sense within the greater framework of this story. The Walking Dead set out to destroy all living things. All good living things, of course. And the living dead rose. What are you doing, you dead beats? Are you seriously going to let a few old corpses get the better of you? Take care of this baby. Before I kick your asses so hard you fly all the way to Stormbreeze. Where you can tell Thanos personally what a bunch of God's done cowards you really are. I uh have to leave you now because I have to prepare something back home. But you hold the fort here. Got it? Good. Then take care of them. With these heroic words, Grimly, the great dwarf king, took to his heels and ran. Some might think it cowardly. Yes, the damn coward. But we'll get him and then we'll organize an intervention. We'll tear him a new one. My goodness. What a turn of phrase! Outrageous! Still, it was a desire I can only agree with. Come on, for the validation craving evil. Biters, I mean zombies, I mean undead, or oh, whatever. Rise! And the living dead rose, and the good people's defensive camp went up in flames. The pitiful survivors ran in panic and dispersed in all directions. Ha! Those cowards! See how they run! Is that funny? It does have something comical about it. Even the zombies emitted a laughing moan before pushing on to get some tasty brains before the others did. And again, the brain-hungry zombies rose against the human defenses. Now it is time to find Grimly and give him his rightful punishment. What rightful punishment? Um... Oh, rightful or not, what do I care? As long as the dwarf suffers! <laughs> the lands of Ashspring were wholly under the crazed evil's control. Every now and then, a confused zombie would pop up, even though the living had already been driven out. But that didn't matter, for the absolute evil's hordes set out for Steelsmith, King Grimly's headquarters.
The Battle of Steelsmith. Led by Talia, the brutal Evil's army had reached the dwarven town of Steelsmith and made ready to storm it. Inside, the fierce dwarven King Grimly planned its defense. <laughs> 